Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Tech, along with my co-host Harris, and welcome to another episode of Ash Answers. Ash Answers is a show where we answer the questions which you tweet out to us with the hashtag Ash Answers. So, with the further ado, let's get to the questions. What is the need of selling a certain phone with different processor in different countries? It boils down to availability. So, again, this uh, we've answered this in the past. Yes, but here's a quick recap. Somebody like Samsung, uh, uh, it's necessity rather than availability. For Samsung, it's availability. Uh, someone like Samsung sells an insane number of phones. Uh, for example, something like a... Okay, this is a Mi 6. I'm sorry, I thought it was the S8. I was just thinking of the S8. Uh, insane number of S8. And unlike someone like Apple, who, you know, does not have enough enough stocks, you know, to begin with. So that's why you see, like, huge queues for an iPhone launch. Whereas with Samsung, it's not that way because they do have... They do create enough stocks. Uh, and for that, they kind of have to, they kind of end up using two different chips inside. Uh, other cases include someone like Xiaomi, where they're not allowed to sell uh, MediaTek in India, so they keep bringing Snapdragon variants to India. So that's how it works. If you get to remove or add a feature to the S8 or S8 Plus, what would it be? I would remove the headphone jack so that it's more iPhone-like. <laughs> Seriously, you'll remove the headphone jack. Yeah, anyway, he listens to music with his uh, QC35 and uh, the yeah. wireless headphones. Yeah, so no, headphones. not really, not really. Okay. I don't know. What would what would you add or remove? Okay, I'll remove the Bixby feature. No one uses it. Fair enough. Uh, I'll if I'm adding a feature, I would add the dual camera on it. Fair enough. Yeah, that's probably what I'd do as well. I'd probably get a dual camera or make six gigs of RAM. The default. It doesn't really make a lot of difference, but I don't know. Give a stock Android option, that would be cool. But really, S Pen, I know that's called a note, but I would like a smaller note, which is not happening. Rumors indicate the note to have a 6.4 inch display. So uh, if we go by the rumors, if they turn out to be right, we'd have a, a note that's larger than the S8 Plus. And I would like to see a S8 with a stylus. So okay. that would probably be what I'd do. Do you think Xiaomi will slowly seize e-commerce and fully focus on their Mi Home stores in India? Not really. See, so, Xiaomi is all about cutting uh, the middleman out. Yes, their stores are still their stores, but if they have to sell via their stores alone, then they need to pay for people over there. Yes, they still do it with an e-commerce platform, but they aren't really doing it, right? They're just paying a percentage to uh, a flip card or whoever. Uh, the costs involved with maintaining stores all across the country to reach the same amount of people that a, a e-commerce website can, are kind of higher so while Xiaomi will still continue to expand their presence in the form of me home stores around the country uh, I highly doubt that would become become their pre uh, predominant uh, source of sales it would always it, it is gonna be more often than not uh, online and given that you know MI stands for mobile internet and it's all about the internet and it would be really 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 uh, ironic if they actually stop selling online what do you think um, I think uh, the reason um, uh, me is having uh, the flash sales and stuff is that they don't have a, they can't produce more than uh, the demand. Yeah. So um, I think maybe uh, they will sell the older phones in the stores, stores and yeah. uh, the newer phones will still remain in the e-commerce sites and stuff. Mm, that actually makes sense because you know so, someone walking into a store might even pick up an older phone, help people pick up all selfie centric phones when they walk into a store. So why not? That is a good way to look at it. Your comment on you, Eureka Black. No comments. <laughs> and come on guys, they've gone back. See, they, uh, they actually tried to come up with their own designs and uh, that was the whole difference between Micromax and you, right? So you were supposed to be their own designs and everything to compete with uh, the, what do you say, the Chinese players, whereas Micromax was supposed to be, you know, that brand that generally rips people off and blah, blah, blah. I mean, I'm not really gonna delve on that, but with rebranded re stuff. But now we're getting rebranded, as in they aren't really copying uh, designs uh, so much as just buying from the same OEM as other brands. Uh, no, it just doesn't make sense for me, right? I'm sorry, I was just checking if the water cooler was on that makes noises. It isn't. So, uh, I don't know, 
not impressed. How's the overall performance of the Xiaomi Mi 6? Is it worth buying? Please answer my question. Dude, the answer to this question is called the Mi 6 review, which I've not gotten around to. I haven't gotten around to the Mi 6 review because I've not, I don't yet have all the answers. Uh, but then again, I did just, uh, you know, my video, Mi 6, things I love and hate. The video just went live. Here's a card to it, so do check that out. Uh, I still have to get through testing these, these cameras. I'm kind of having mixed feelings about them so far. Uh, but I'm sure that a couple of software fixes should, you know, uh, get it sorted. But anyway, give me a week or two, a week, most probably I'll come out of the review and you can check that out. Which TV series are you currently watching? I'm currently watching The Middle. So this is something I watched a long time back and uh, I'm just catching up on the last two seasons. Uh, it's just a fun family show. It's like 20 minutes, so it's, you know, good enough to have dinner and go to sleep. What about you? Um, I just now finished 13 Reasons Why. I'm like looking for another series to start with. So if you guys can suggest any series, head on to the comments. See, that's how he builds up engagement. I mean, he could have just asked me. I would have given him like a million series to watch, but no. Let's ask the people. Let's make sure they comment. Yay! <laughs> Good thinking. OnePlus says that the OnePlus 5 will be the slimmest flagship. Will that affect battery life? Will it be better than the OnePlus 3T? How would I know? I mean, see guys, uh, I am, I just don't, I mean, I've been vocal about this in the past. I just don't like the entire slimming phone stand for the heck of it. Yes, you know, when the Mi 6 got thicker, I didn't like that. But that's because there's not a larger capacity battery inside. And I'm pretty sure going by the comments that we've received on the Mi 6 video so far, uh, most people say, go watch uh, torture rest of the phone. It doesn't break that easily anymore. But here's my question to you. Uh, I mean, like, you know, with something like the iPhone 6, when it came out, it was bending and people were like posting pictures of the phone actually bending in their pockets. Now that I can understand. Now a Mi 5, for all its faults, yeah, it's it was really bad that they only sold the underclock variant in India. We didn't get choices. That was, I mean, let's blame Xiaomi for all that. But how many people do you see posting pictures or like talking about the fact that their Mi, Mi 5 just broke well in their pockets. I mean, it didn't happen. So yeah, would I like them to improve the overall build? Yes, but 180 grams seems like a uh, gross uh, hype, I mean, overreaction over here. Because if you think about it, look at other phones, you know, forget the Mi 5, don't compare it to the Mi 5. Look at other phones with 5 and 5.15 inch displays, the Galaxy S4, S5, S6, uh, the Mi 4 was another one. None of, none of these phones, you know, weighed as much as the Mi 6 does. So again, we just got totally sidetracked with that. I'm sorry, I was just reading the comments. I just got caught up by that. Uh, so yeah, I'm not all for slimmer phones like the Moto Z2 Play. Again, they've, it was already a seven millimeter phone. They made it a six millimeter phone. And if OnePlus is gonna make the OnePlus 3T even slimmer, I don't know, I hope they have some something to fix the battery because, uh, the OnePlus 3T doesn't have great battery life. It, it's got good battery life. It's not great. It's not a P2 or a Redmi Note 4 by any means. Uh, it is perfectly usable for a day and dash charge helps a lot. Uh, but if they're gonna cut that down even more, um, I have my, uh, what do you say, my, I'm cautiously optimistic about it. I mean, I'm cautious about it. I'm not even optimistic. I don't know. Uh, I'm just, I'm looking to see how this turns out. I mean, my expectations aren't always right because S8, I didn't think I could use it single-handed, but turns out I could. Uh, so hopefully OnePlus, just like Samsung, goes ahead and surprises me this time. Which country is Sundar now in? Which country is he in? I don't know. Last I heard he was in Tokyo. Okay. No. We don't know. I don't know. No one knows. I doubt he knows. I mean, he might be in India. I mean, just like I said a couple of weeks back, you know, pause the video, go out, open your windows and see, he might probably be there. Okay, because nobody really knows where he is. I'm sure he will be replying to the comments in this video. Where is Sundar? I'm here. That's gonna be his comment. I'm <laughs> sure about it. If not Oppo and Vivo, what are good options to buy smartphones offline? This guy's probably Samsung or even <laughs> Xiaomi has a presence. I don't know, why wouldn't you buy it online? I mean, you use Twitter, you ask me a question. If it's for somebody, family, 
who really want to buy a phone offline around the 20k mark you have the moto is selling offline i think even the p2 is available offline so those would be good choices but the best thing is to always you know let people know that you can order online you know it's not like you pay money or you can do cash on delivery or online do you believe in dxo mark scores judging smartphone camera or is it just a random number i wouldn't go you know as far as to call it just a random number but when you look at it benchmarks are just benchmarks the mi 6 is one of the fastest phones i've used uh but i haven't run the benchmarks myself but from whatever i've read online it doesn't seem to uh, be great at benchmarks so just like that every phone that has a great dxo mark doesn't mean it's going to have a great camera in real life but uh, it does mean it i'm not saying it's totally useless it's just like every other benchmark out there it is a rough assessment of how well you think it can perform but you know real life performance always differs as in might differ what is your favorite feature in the essentials ph1 So essential PH1 if you've not seen my video on it here you go there's a card right there and I just hit him on the head <laughs> nice uh what's your favorite feature um my favorite feature would be the uh snap on uh 360 camera camera that is the only feature which is like uh stands out in the essential P1 my favorite feature is again the removal of the headphone jack I don't know guys it's for me the real USB like I said in that video is the fact that Andy Rubin is uh behind it so I want to see what he does with the software that's probably what I'm really looking forward to Moto Z2 play a downgrade uh with regards to battery yes but barring that the camera seems impressive on paper if it's anything like the G5 Plus's camera then it's definitely not going to be a downgrade overall but it's you know it seems to be a phone built for motor mods because the 6 mm phone is not something you're going to uh you know it's you don't need to go down to 6 mm for the phone to be comfortable but at 6 mm you know mods might be comfortable so uh it might not be a downgrade per se it is not a downgrade per se but then again uh probably buying a battery mod for it would be kind of mandatory given that the price is going up from the Z Play when you take into account a mod it you know we are we are touching flagship territory as in uh, tier 1 brand last year flagship price territory so uh, let's see how it turns out why giving security patch update important for smartphone companies well for them it's not really important because they just want to make you buy the new phone for us as end users it helps as in why do, why are there security patches you know when you look at that question it's when google identifies that something needs to be patched as an exploit that can be well exploited by hackers or something to get better security for your phone that is why they release it and it it you know smartphone manufacturers need to be passing it along to the end user so that we can keep our phones safe the ones that we spend 10 20 30 60 grand for you know it remains safe and not vulnerable to attacks and sadly a lot of people don't and why they don't do it why is it important for them as a brand it increases the brand value and that is where a brand like samsung a tier one brand like samsung comes in because they have you know they've spent money on marketing the brand they care about the positivity that comes from you know a security patch being rolled out and and also given that you know samsung is a big enough name and i'm extremely sorry for for the kids outside i really can't do anything about it uh you know that's got to be my tagline so anyway coming back uh, for a brand like samsung that positive negative coverage is very important and secondly given that a brand like samsung is a huge enough name that even when samsung sends out a press release like this patch has rolled out to these devices or you know december patch has been rolled out yeah 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 there are so many uh, websites and blogs who pick up that news why because it's going to get them clicks because when people see something about samsung and a phone that sold millions odds are they click and read about it but at the same time some someone like i don't know a lower a uh, lower brand something like uh elena were pushing out something for the x3 which they never sold a lot of units to begin with well they, that's why they don't they don't seem to care because they 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 fighting on the uh uh competitive price segment which means they don't have the resources to do it which is absolutely not right uh but then again that is why some brands don't feel it's important to them if you want to be the ceo of a company which one will you choose htc sony vivo 
Oppo and Apple. Say why you like and what will you do? I don't know, I'd probably pick Apple over here and then, you know, make sure that Sundar never gets an iPhone in his life ever again. Just, just, just one instruction. Make sure this guy never gets a phone ever again. You know, any Apple product for that matter. Just, it'll be nice to screw with, screw with him. But uh, jokes apart, I would probably go with uh, Sony over here because uh, you know other other brands crashing and burning. It doesn't really. Uh, okay, yeah, I used to like HTC. HTC is crashing and burning. That's it's okay. Uh, I mean, for me personally, but Sony, you know, it's a brand that I've always liked. Uh, you know, I have uh, like the Walkman, like the cassette player, I had a Sony. Um, again, I've had a PlayStation 2, a PlayStation 3, a PlayStation 4, now a PlayStation 4 Pro. Uh, I just like Sony products and I really feel Sony does some great things. Uh, but Sony has a tendency to get complacent after a period of time. Like you remember if we, you know, go back a decade when Sony Walkman phones were doing extremely well, they were the ones who wanted to stick to their M2 cards. When their Cybershot cameras were doing well, they wanted to stick to their Prodeo cards. You know, these were memory uh, memory cards that cost around four times that uh, as comparable ones like micro SD versus M2. M2 was four times higher for the same uh, storage space. And the same thing with SD cards and Prodeo. So uh, that complacency is what is kind of hurting Sony right now. And to see a brand that I really liked at one point of time, I still do. Uh, to see them do this bad, it's kind of like, you know, if I could be CE, I'd probably pick Sony. And I'm pretty sure I'd still suck because it's always easy for us to just judge something sitting on the other side of the table. Uh, but when, you know, it's you doing stuff, it's gonna be, I don't know. Did you face any accidental touches on the S8 and the S8 Plus? Uh, not when I'm using it two-handed, but when, I'm, when I use it single-handed, then yeah, when I'm trying to grab somewhere and it doesn't register, because my palm's touching it. But then again, it's not just a, it's not just a S8 or S8 Plus thing. It happens with every big phone. Maybe a little more so on the S8 and S8 Plus, but it's not a deal breaker, guys, believe me. For me, I think the, um, more than the uh, S8 Plus, the S7 Edge had the accidental touches. Okay. In the speed test, I will, I'll experience more accidental touches on the uh, S7 Edge than on the S8. Okay. It's for me, actually. How do you manage to run two channels? I'm still figuring it out, dude. I'm still figuring it out. Uh, it's 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 a learning experience. Everything is, right? Uh, so yeah, I mean, one good thing about the Tamil channel, you know, uh, is, I mean, if you guys don't know, we've launched C4 Tech Tamil, where we shoot videos in Tamil. Here's a card to that channel. So anyway, if you understand the language, do check it out. So. One good thing is, uh, I don't know, it's just easier to do things when it's your native tongue. Uh, uh, easier to run without a script. But then again, for me, the dif difficulty has been that I've spent six years doing stuff in English. The, the technical things and, uh, you know, some of the superlatives and stuff, I, I mentioned this in a recent Tamil video I did. Some superlatives and stuff, when you're talking in your native tongue, you just use one word over and over again. Like, you know, for something that's good, when you're writing a script professionally in English, you you, you throw in words like fantastic, marvelous, you know, magnificent, uh, fabulous, uh, great, awesome, brilliant, and all that just for the one word, good. Okay, you could still say good as well. So yeah, there you go. But when you're like doing it in your native tongue and all you've done is like speak it colloquially all your life, uh, then it kind of like, okay, what do I say here? I mean, this, I mean, you would get a synonym, but this isn't a word I've ever used. No, how do we use it? And it's just uh, little things like that. But then it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Future of Samsung with Bixby. I don't know, Samsung's never been very successful with their software. Yeah, the Knox part, yes, to an extent. Uh, but overall, Samsung's software ventures have largely been a failure. Uh, so, I don't know. Bixby so far doesn't seem to be picking up. I mean, we've still not got the voice activated stuff uh, in most parts of the world. So, well, only time will tell. What do you think about the new Core i9 processor? Are you kidding me? 18 freaking cores, 18. Okay, 
I mean, had they gone ten, like yeah, but eighteen. I'm on a Finance X Zero X, and that's got eight cores and sixteen threads. This is eighteen freaking cores. Thirty-six uh, threads. Thirty-six threads. So. It's gonna be my next, it's gonna be in my next build, but I mean, not next build for the channel build. No, no, this, this is like, I've gotta find somebody traveling from the US and f find somebody to carry it for me because I'm pretty sure what is $2,000 in the US will end up being two lakhs in India. And I am not gonna pay that money and buy it in India. I'm gonna just hope somebody travels, somebody I know travels from the US and import it from there. Uh, so I don't know, six months down the line, probably I'm gonna get, I'm gonna build something with that in it. The moment the news came out, mm -hmm. uh, I remember Ash coming out of his room and telling like, I'm buying this, for sure <laughs> I'm buying this. I don't know, you see, end of the day, uh, when it comes to editing more cores, uh, faster cores, it's always useful. And given that I spent uh, a majority of my life in front of the PC and a majority of that time editing, I feel it makes sense. How is disabling haptic feedback or no auto brightness sensor going to push a 18K budget guy to buy a 55k flagship. So that's why they have it here and there, right? So it's like the A-series, uh, the A-series gets out of brightness. So, uh, and then haptic feedback is on higher end phones and blah, blah, blah. I mean, this is Samsung logic, dude. This is, you don't wanna go down this rabbit hole. You know, you start thinking about it and then you go like, you start pulling your hair out. And you, you, you guys get that's where I have short hair. You know, because I ask myself these questions and then I'm just so afraid if I had hair like this, I'll just be pulling it out. Oh. So yeah, there's, there's, there's really no logic over there. Uh, it is what it is. It's just some people up at Samsung who think that's the way to go about it. That's the way to uh, demarket their infinite lines. What made you change the style of your thumbnails and add those vector arts? Who makes them and why do you like them so much? Uh, well, it's just easier. See guys, uh, even in Photoshop, to cut yourself out of an image, you need to be against the plain background. So in this video, for me to cut myself out from here is gonna be a lot of pain. And even when I do it, you know, see, you know, my hand is over here. So if this is the frame, then my hand is not there. So then where I can place it in the thumbnail means I'll have to place it to a side or stuff like that. It's just more difficult to do. Uh, whereas vector arts is, it's simple, right? You just take and keep throwing it into all thumbnails. It's easier to do and it looks quite nice as well. Uh, and uh, I've got a couple of people. Uh, Saman Sarkar is one, Parth Shukla is one. These guys uh, keep sending me vector images. I learned how to do uh, do it myself last week. So last week's Ash Answers, that thumbnail was, that was done by me. But ge in general, these two guys send me most of our uh, ve vectors. So yeah, that's that. Interested about India versus Pakistan match? I mean, is there anybody who is not interested in it, right? Uh, but yeah. the match is on uh, tomorrow 3. It's at 3? 3, 3 p.m. Ah. Oh. Okay, then tomorrow we are releasing our chances half an hour early. <laughs> One hour early. We'll do, two, we'll do a 2 p.m. release. Okay. Just for India versus Pakistan. I mean, hell, I wouldn't watch our, our chances at 3. <laughs> I can't wait to see India win. India has to win. India will win. If you want India to win, give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Be a patriot. Care about your country. Vote this video up. <laughs> share it with everybody. I'm just kidding. India will win, regardless of if you hit thumbs up or thumbs down. No 3.5mm jack in the iPhone 7 as Apple had to fit in the Taptic engine and waterproofing. Why did the 3.5mm jack get removed from Mi 6? Because Apple did it. That's what the cool kids are doing. And if Apple did it, well, what about the headphone jack? Let's remove it. Why? I don't know. Apple did it. So? Maybe the guy who asked why is thrown out of the window. Maybe. I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, why uh, Apple did it? So what? If Apple did it, there must be some reason. There should be a reason why Apple did it. Maybe we can't see it. Let's do that. Let's do that. No headphone jack. I don't know, it's some weird logic that way. Uh, this is, well, hashtag Xiaomi logic. Every brand seems to have their own weird logic and this is Xiaomi's because the phones become larger, longer, as in taller, wider, thicker, heavier, and lost the headphone jack. Like, like that's, that's the definition of facepalm. 
Xiaomi said that uh, they needed more space for uh, the dual camera. The Mi 5 had the headphone jack on the top, right? Okay. So removing the headphone jack from the top will give them space to integrate the dual camera. Dual camera. The Mi 5s Plus had a dual camera. The Redmi Pro had a dual camera. I don't know guys, I'm I, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think the Mi 5s Plus was actually slimmer than this. I, I am I might be wrong. It was a larger phone, yes. I don't know. It's weird. The phone is good overall, but yeah. Next up. Is it safe to buy Lumia phones now? Why do Why? you need a Lumia phone now? Why? 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 Are the boxes behind you empty? Most of them are because the phones are in a they are elsewhere, but uh, most of these boxes have relevant. We have the stuff. It's just in, inside the office, not over here because this, you just like, I mean, you, you guys do understand Sundar works here, right? So with Sundar, you think like, he'll, he'll just go and like, <laughs> who put the box there? You can, you can. It's not my it. fault. I mean, you, who put the box there? You only put the box there. Harris put the box there. Blame Harris. <laughs> Okay, you can so actually see the um, Mi VR Play video. Oh yeah, a couple of boxes were uh, and <laughs> fell down. Exactly, you 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 guys might think that it was staged, but not really. His his surprise over there, his reaction was real. He didn't. <laughs> it, it was never planned. He just knocked them boxes down. I mean, he was just being Sundar. So yeah, we don't have stuff in the boxes. Yeah, we uh, probably in the lowest rows we have a couple of things that have stuff inside, but. Not really, something like a Chromecast or something might be inside, but most of the boxes are empty. They're not empty. They have I the think they have the charger and everything stuff. in it, but the phones are not there. Are you planning on doing a high-end PC build? I am broke right now. Honestly, I am broke. Uh, so no giveaways, no PC builds, at least for a couple of months. We are like out of cash to be very honest. Uh, we've hired like Sundar is coming on full time and Shah Rukh's there for the Tamil channel and we're looking to bring in one more guy full time so in the next 3-4 months so it's like all new expenses and I also need to set cash aside for the new office which means I am tapped out right now so that's why even the high end like my own PC the one I wanted to build you know I set myself like 6 months before I could build something like that so yeah that's that so it will happen I would love to do a i9 build but uh, I, I don't think I could actually do it. I mean, you guys let me know and that's my neighbors up top. You understand why I really need to relocate? That is why. So anyway, uh, you guys let me know. If I were to do an i9 build, I wouldn't get a new GPU. I would still stick to my Titan X. That's the old Titan X. But it would not be a great build. It, I mean, it wouldn't be a build you would do today. I would use my old uh, Titan X because I have it lying around. Uh, I don't want to buy a new GPU right now. I would want to save money there. So it wouldn't be a build that you could follow and build for yourself, but it would be something interesting because that's what I'd be editing on. So you let me know if that's something you'd want to see. Again, six months, it's not happening tomorrow. Uh, please don't keep asking me about that build on every video. Please, I'm telling you very clearly, it's not gonna, ha gonna happen anytime soon, but if you'd want to see it, whenever I eventually get it and I do the build, I, I will shoot a video about it. Uh, even this build, the Finance 60X, I was supposed to shoot a video. I don't know if I've said this before. We lost electricity that day. So it was like, I'm already not working. Should I wait for, yeah, forget it, let me build it. So I actually built it outside the house in, in daylight, most of the things. And then with uh, the old setup, like from three years back, I had these small uh, six LED lights okay. uh, to light up. So I used them and you know, nat natural light to actually build it. Not good enough to actually film. So yeah, that's that. I'm looking for a fast and fluid phone, SI or Pixel. Despite Pixel's fluidity, would you recommend SI for its aesthetics? Dude, you already have a good phone. So this guy actually visited my office a little <laughs> while back. You already have a good phone. Okay, I don't remember what, I think probably a S7 or something, but you've got a good phone. Stop bugging your dad. You don't need an upgrade right now. <laughs> What was your fear? But seriously, for anybody, uh, see, he just wants to jump to the next question. He's like, focus, let me read the questions. And now after the show, he's like, I 
I was just reading the questions and like, dude, I let you speak. And we'll have that conversation in a bit. But then again, right now, uh, for somebody seriously contemplating between both, I'd say go with the S8. Of course, the Asterix is are much superior. The camera, it's gonna be arguable. I know there are gonna be people saying, oh my God, the Pixel still reigns supreme. And I'm gonna say, no. Okay, the still images are very, very comparable. When it comes to video, nothing beats the S8. Probably the LG V20, that's what, again, V20, V30, people are gonna say that. Uh, I have never personally used it, so I can't vouch for that. Amongst the cameras that I've tested for video, S8 is the only one I trust, especially given that it has manual controls. Guys, it's very, very simple, guys. Uh, for, for the video part of things, like, if you look at it, the Mi 6, uh, love and hate video, the S8 review, we already left a card to that. Yeah, I guess. If we haven't left a card already, it's here. So for these two videos, I shot most of the things outdoors and almost everything, I mean, everything shot outdoors were, was shot with the S8. And any camera with any, no matter what it's using for autofocus, when you're, when you're putting a phone display in front, a smartphone camera is gonna struggle. It would remain in focus for like 70% of the video. And then it would once, when you're like switching pages and you move to something like a white screen, when you're loading up the, main, the settings menu or something, it would go to the background. If the background is also interesting, like you have a, uh, one shot we had a royal and field in the background, once we just had plants, it would just try to focus on something else. And I can't avoid it on any other phone. On the S8 with the pro con the pro mode, I could just set manual focus and shoot that, shoot those parts. And you know, so for video making, for no matter what, it's always better to have a, a something that can handle manual focus. And that's and barring that. A lot of people didn't even know I was shooting with a smartphone. Yes, when you look at the back, look at the, uh, uh, what do you say, the back of phones, you can see the reflections and yes, you'd know it, but otherwise, even otherwise, uh, some of the shots are just really good for a smartphone. It's just, uh, for me personally, when it comes to cameras, they say it is what, what I trust. Yes, there are others who can do better with still images at times, but it's very close. The advantage, okay, I'm sorry to continue. Uh, the overall advantage you get uh, while shooting video uh, offsets any minor uh, disadvantage you might get. Again, I'm not saying you will get, you might get with photos, with a pixel or whatever. What was your favorite Nokia device? 5800, that was one of the first phones I paid my own money and bought. As in not like money that my parents give me from for a month or something and they'd save that and buy, but this was like, money I earned and bought, so that's my favorite. What about you? I don't have a Nokia favorite. Exactly, he's like, he's like 18 years old, so he's like, I didn't live when Nokia existed. I did have a Nokia phone. I don't remember the model, but See? I used it for a month. Kids, guys, kids, <laughs> remember the Nokia. Nokia is coming. Will the future of smartphones be full bezel-less dual displays with no cameras, but USB Type-C camera is included in the box. That's quite creative, uh, but nah, because cameras are very, very important, uh, and especially selfie cameras are even more important to people. So I highly doubt a selfie camera or even a full a regular camera as an add-on. Uh, I don't think people would receive it well. Which are the headphones or earphones that you personally use? When I'm in the office, well, we get, Okay, I don't want to bleep myself, so I'm going to say bad reception inside. Uh, so, so I need to go out to take calls and you know how noisy it is outside. So yeah, I, I generally wear my QZ35s. Uh, I love them, they are amazing. Uh, and if I'm, you know, traveling outside somewhere and I just need to carry regular earphones with me, then I go with the Bose SoundSport. Uh, that's it. I mean, Bose makes amazing earphones and headphones. Uh, it's been my favorite. I've tried quite a few, not the expensive ones, of course, but the first expensive ones I actually tried were Bose and they worked for me. So, yeah. So that's it. That, those are all the questions that Harris picked and he swore to me, he promised that there are no other questions. So if you <laughs> sent in a question and it's not been featured, you can let us know with the, you know, on Twitter with the hashtag Sundar Discriminates. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it might be Harris, but Sundar Discriminates still applies because that's our hashtag. Uh, and that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. 
this is Harris and Ash from C4. What about Twitter. give this video a thumbs up? Okay. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. What it done if you didn't? Did yeah, and and guys notice all the speed tests are coming in. Okay, he never says what it done if you didn't. Okay, unless it is technically my video. So Ash answers internally we counted as my video, except last week. So if it's my video, then the what it done comes in. If it's not mine, if it's if it goes down as his own video, then it's like. Yeah, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Fun for more. I mean, if you have already subscribed, do this to make sure blah blah blah. Not cool, sir. Okay, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And for more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Okay. If you already subscribed, do this to make sure you get. No, more. do this. Hit that bell icon every time you say do this. I have to put a B roll on top. Okay, <laughs> okay hit, hit that, that bell, bell icon. icon. to make sure you get notified each time a new video goes live here on C4E Tech and in case you were wondering where Sundar is i mean if you forgotten wait for the bloopers <laughs> so that's it you yeah, i do the outro 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 thanks for watching okay thanks for watching this is Harris and Ash from C4E Tech leaving for the moment have, have a great nice day, day. <laughs> Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech, and welcome to another episode of Ash Answers, along with my co-host Harris. What is the need of selling a certain phone with different? What is the need of selling a phone? Okay. What is the need of? What is the need of selling a certain phone with different no, processor in different countries? Okay, can I have it? And of course, before you you guys can ask, where is Sundar? Here's a quick little <laughs> clip. Or rather, image showing you where. What about you? I'll be the CEO of Apple. He's gonna Just be the CEO of Apple. Just to change the um, dual camera setup in the One Plus Eight. I don't. I don't like the vertical integration of it. You're gonna be the CEO of Apple to save to change the One Plus Eight's dual camera setup. The iPhones. iPhone. Whoa, that is awesome! <laughs> I like it. I iPhones. like it. Okay, that's a blooper, right? That's not a blooper. That's going into the regular video. <laughs> iPhones. Okay.